Welcome to Pressure Crisp, everybody. We're gonna do a pound of pinto beans. We're just gonna flavor it a bit. So let's talk about beans. This is one pound of pinto beans. I soaked these, I soaked them this morning. So they probably soaked for about eight to 10 hours today. You can uh, soak these overnight if you plan on making them in the morning or you don't have to soak them at all. Make your decision, either soak or don't soak. This is one pound of pinto beans. Just gonna put them right in there. Now you wanna make sure if you're taking these directly out of a bag, you do wanna make sure that you wash these and remove any stones or anything you find that doesn't look like a pinto bean. To this, we're just gonna go ahead and add six cups of water. I'm also going to add four bay leaves and then let's get started on the onions and garlic. So what you see in front of you is a bunch of garlic and a bunch of onions. I chop them up into about this size piece right here. This is one medium onion. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right in the Ninja Foodie. To this batch, since it, it is a whole pound, I'm gonna go ahead and add another half an onion. And you're just gonna chop the ends off just like that. And we're just gonna take a half of this. So put that one off to the side. Just gonna take this, remove this outer layer. Just doing this quick. What I like to do, chop like this, and then chop up with the pieces just like that. Garlic, probably like eight cloves of garlic. And I'm just gonna take them, you're gonna smash them just like that. I chop that part off, and you're just gonna remove the skin. Now with all this garlic, garlic, with all this garlic, we're just gonna give it a rough chop. We're not gonna worry about mincing it because with the pressure cooking, most of the onions as well as the garlic will be pulverized and will just meld right into the beans to make them a delicious, tasty concoction. And like I said, we're just gonna give this a rough chop. Just gonna pick this up, put it right into the pot. We're gonna go ahead and add some salt. Some people season it now with cumin and everything else. I tend to do that after the beans are cooked. I just wanted to give this a stir to make sure the salt is not concentrated just in one area. What I'm gonna do next, just gonna take the lid, put it there, make sure it's set to seal. Make sure your Ninja Foodie's on. We're gonna select pressure, defaults to high. We're gonna up the time to 45, there we go, minutes. Hit start. Then we're going to do a natural release for 10 or 15 minutes. I've done it either way, 10, 15, and the beans come out the same. We have one second left. Now, it's done. It's gonna start counting up. We're gonna do a natural release for 15 minutes. So we've done a natural release for 15 minutes. We're just gonna go ahead and do a quick release. Whoops. There we go. The red tab is dropped in the back. We're gonna take the lid off. Once again, open it away from you and watch for the dripping water. There we go. Oh, look at that. This looks great. Look at that, beautiful. We're actually gonna shut the Ninja Foodie off. We're going to pick this up and we're going to put it through a strainer in the sink. Once again, please be careful, this is boiling hot. I am gonna take these bay leaves out. Once again, be careful, this is hot. And you just discard, discard these in the trash. Four ounces of green chilies. Put some black pepper in here, like a half a teaspoon. Now we're gonna add more salt. And of course, we're gonna add some cumin. That's probably like a half a teaspoon of um, salt. Cumin, probably add anywhere from a half to one teaspoon of cumin. And what we're gonna do, just give this a stir. Now you can keep them like whole like this. Well, they're kind of like mushy whole. Just like that, you can keep them that way if you want. Sometimes I do this, but I do actually take, let me take a potato masher, and we're just gonna mash these up just a bit. And I like this consistency of how they are right now because as this cools, these beans thicken up like you wouldn't believe. I like to leave some whole and then most of it mashed. Let me just give a taste. I just wanna taste mostly for salt because these beans, they suck up a lot of salt. Yeah, we need more salt. More salt. And you know something? We're gonna add more cumin too. So we're looking at like one teaspoon of cumin. What you can do with this, 
You can just serve it like it is right now, like on the side. It's a little runny, but like I said, it will thicken up as it cools just a bit. You can serve it as a side of refried beans. Right now it's too hot and too runny to serve like as bean burritos. You can also take these beans and you can put cheese in with it and make like a bean cheese dip. That's always tasty. Or you can make nachos with this. You can uh, put hamburger and the refried beans or you can just use refried beans. It's up to, you know, if somebody's a vegetarian or whatever, you can actually do that. So let's just do another taste test. That's really good. Oh yeah. Put a little hot sauce on there. Fabulous. But this is just a Ninja Foodie 101 video on how to make the refried beans. And I just offered a few ideas of what you could do with it. Season it how you like it. I'm just giving you the basic building blocks on making the refried beans, but you take this, make this recipe your own. Add what seasonings you want. Like me, I know that I'm gonna add some more jalapenos to this. These uh, fire roasted green chilies are nice and all, but I want a little heat in here. I like the heat. So I will take some, chop up a few of the uh, jarred jalapenos because I don't have any fresh in the house, and I'll add those to the refried beans. And then also if this thickens and I put it in the fridge, I'll also, if they, they get really, like this will get really, really thick. I will saute up some more onion and some jalapenos, saute those, reheat these refried beans, and serve it in a bean burrito. Or just eat it plain. That's how much I love refried beans. They're really, really good. Give these a try, you will love them. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.